Well, hello, and today we've got a very exciting vlog because it's the first of very many wedding vlogs. Um, we do have lots of vlogs of the day to show you, but there's a lot of footage to go through and obviously like Josh has to do it around working and stuff. So we're starting off with one that's pretty simple and that is showing off my beautiful wedding dress. <laughs> So we'll start off by saying, completely ignore the hanger it's on. We had a uh, personalised groom and bride hangers and I just could not find the bride one so I hung it up on the groom one. <laughs> anyway, this is my dress. So, it's got like three quarter, well no, the, like, I don't know, I don't know what length sleeve you would call this. It one goes third. like there. Like a third. <laughs> but anyway. So lace sleeves and then I don't know how well it'll pick up on the camera but the flowers have got like um, sequins on them. Yeah. And then the top part, I believe it is called an illusion neckline. <laughs> so it's where you have like the netting and then you detail around it. So it's got quite a like tight bodice area, like this is boned. So, uh -huh. not the most comfortable dresses, but again, it's all like lace detail and it's got the sequins on the flowers. And then the bottom bit, this is a T-length dress, by the way. Um, it's just lots and lots of layers of material that are very, very sparkly. Like, that should pick up quite nice. Yeah, you can see it. On the camera. Um, it is a blush pink dress as well, like, in fact, that's the glittery layer. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then if you lift to the that bit you can see it is actually a blush pink dress um, I didn't want white um, because I'm quite pale so when I tried this one on this was the first ever dress I tried on too so it was meant to be also ignore the wall oh yeah please ignore the wall ignore that bit I'll film from here oh shall I turn it around oh yes so the back bit is buttons and then down here it's a zip it just goes part of the way down but again you get like the idea of the illusion bit we're going to try and insert some pictures into this but we do only have guest photos at the moment so but you will get a better idea but you get like so that comes over your shoulder and then these bits come round the bottom of your back which is also why i had my hair tied up because there's a lot of detailing on the back of the dress and then again it just sort of tapers down with the floral lace. So as I said, it is a T-length dress. Most of the dresses that I tried on were short dresses um, because that's just kind of the style I wanted. I wanted something a little bit different. Um, it was the first dress I tried on. I think I tried five dresses on in total and I put this one on three times. <laughs> then went away and had cake and thought about it and then came back and got it. Um, it's from Wed to Be which I highly recommend. Um, I got it from the Rotherham store, but there's loads of Wed to Be shops like up and down the country. Highly recommend Wed to Be because if I am thinking right, all of their dresses, aside from their platinum collection dresses, are under £599, which obviously for a wedding dress is really good. Um, my dress was £429, but I don't think they make this one anymore, but there are some absolutely gorgeous ones still. Um, there were, there's a wedding dress designer that I really, really like. I think it's called House of Mushki. And they specialise in T-length dresses. And you can get ones that look exactly like this. And they're like £1,000 to £2,000. <laughs> so, £429 down from two grand is some serious thrifty bridin'. So, while we were just on the subject of like how I dressed for the wedding, I thought we might as well just go through some of the accessories, like my bridal accessories. So these were my shoes, which, I mean, just look how sparkly they are. Um, so they're just rose gold heels and they were from New Look and I feel like they were £25. These were my earrings, which again, like, you can see they are super sparkly. They were £15 from Etsy and the store is called Colette & Co. I used a little bag on the day just to like put my phone and my lipstick and stuff in. Um, I had this made on AliExpress. I can't remember how much I paid for it. I feel like it was about £20. Um, and you could have it with like anything written on it. So we had an up-themed wedding. So I had adventures out there on it. And it's just 
a box bag. I used it without the chain on the wedding day, so I used it like just as a clutch. Um, but it was just nice to have somewhere to put like my lipstick and some perfume and stuff. Then as I said, I had my hair um, up in like a bun and I had this in it, just this little hair comb. Um, this was also from AliExpress <laughs> because when you're a budget bride, AliExpress is your best friend and I feel like this was under £5 and it was definitely one of those where I was like, it's going to look nothing like the picture but for that price I'm going to order it and it came and it's absolutely beautiful. And then last is my bouquet which is an artificial bouquet which is why it still looks so good nearly two weeks on. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's just an artificial bouquet and my mum's partner put this together using flowers from Aliexpress again. Um, eBay, The Range, Ikea, I think that's about it. But yeah, um, my bridesmaid had a bouquet with these flowers in it. Um, the buttonholes for the best man and my dad were this colour. And then Josh's buttonhole was this and this. I don't have Josh's buttonhole to show you because he lost it. That's a true story. So yeah, that was my budget <laughs> bridal look. Um, I still think £429 for a dress that you only know once is very expensive. But as I said, down from like two grand, I think we did pretty well. Um, I absolutely love the dress. I've had it for two years. I think I got it in 2019. So it has been in my wardrobe for two years. And it's still hung up at the moment while I decide what I'm going to do with it. And I still look at it and think it's absolutely beautiful. Like, I felt like a true Disney princess <laughs> wearing this dress. Because of how, like, poofy it is, it was good for twirling. <laughs> so, yeah, I love it. I felt like a proper princess in it. And I'm really sad that I never get to wear it again. But I'll always have this vlog to look back on on my wedding pictures. So, <laughs> there is that. Um, like I said, there are lots more wedding vlogs to come of the day, like, I think we've got quite a lot planned, it's just getting through it all and editing them. Um, if you liked this vlog and you're looking forward to seeing more um, wedding vlogs in the future, then give this a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you've not already. With that being said, we're going to get gone and we'll see you guys next time.